The NetKiller barcode scanner allows users to design their own form to appear on smartphone devices when scanning barcodes for inventory management. The barcode number is automatically scanned and any additional information inputted or required on the form is recorded and transferred onto a corresponding Google spreadsheet. To begin setting up, there are a few ways to install the NetKiller barcode scanner. One way is to access the Google Chrome Web Store and search for the NetKiller barcode scanner. Click on the app and select Visit Website. The app can also be quickly accessed by entering in bc-scanner.appspot.com. The app is also available in the App Store and Google Play Store for a download. Once you are able to access the NetKiller Barcode Scanner app, it will require a Google Drive and Sheets integration within your Google account and ask for offline access permission. The barcode scanner does not view or store any user data externally from your personal account. To successfully launch the app, click Allow to grant permission access. Creating a spreadsheet form is important to set up prior to operations. The form you create and save will be used to prompt the individual to input information on required or optional text fields each time a barcode is scanned on a smartphone device. When information is entered on the mobile device, the barcode data is transferred onto your NetKiller Barcode Scanner 2.0 Google Spreadsheet that is automatically created after completing and saving your spreadsheet form. It is recommended to create your spreadsheet from a desktop for a bigger design screen rather than your mobile device. Once the spreadsheet form and Google Sheet for the NetKiller barcode scanner is created, you can freely scan barcodes on your smartphone for inventory management. Now I'm going to show you how to design a form that will appear for your mobile input screen. Click Create New Spreadsheet from Dynamic Form. Create your form on this screen. This form you create will appear to users each time they scan a barcode. This form will prompt the individual to input information according to your required and optional text fields. Click the drop down menu and select your first field and press Add Field. To edit text field options, click the blue plus on your field text. This expands your options on the specific field you selected. Continue to add more fields until you have a form fit for your purposes. To rename any field that may be more applicable for your use purpose, select a field and simply rename the field title. Make sure to enter text only. Special symbols are not valid in this field. Here you can toggle to enable this field as a required or optional for input. You can also disable the option or delete the field here. This field will still have the same function but will now appear as item name on Google Spreadsheet and the form for mobile scanners. Drop-down menus have many uses such as location. Another use for a drop-down menu could be status. Click Preview Form to see what the form would appear as to the individual that is prompt after scanning a barcode. Drop-down menus can also be viewed in preview mode. To save this form as a draft, click Save as Draft. You can still make edits to this form. If your form is complete, click Complete and Save.
It is important that you have all the text fields needed for your inventory management purposes before clicking Complete and Save. Clicking the green Complete and Save button will officially publish your form and edits cannot be made. The form created is now binding to the NetKiller Barcode Scanner 2.0 Google Sheet that has automatically been created in your Google Drive. If you need to reset or redesign a new spreadsheet form with different text titles, please contact our support team. When your form is completed and published, your desktop screen will appear as here. Keep this screen accessible on your desktop to scan the QR code to further set up on your mobile device. Next, to check the centralized Google spreadsheet that was automatically created from your published form, go to your Google Drive or your Google Sheets and locate NetKiller Barcode Scanner 2.0. In the spreadsheet, click on the Barcode Scanner tab at the bottom of the spreadsheet to view your text field titles. Once you begin scanning items and submit the forms via mobile, the information inputted is automatically transferred and updated onto this Google spreadsheet to manage your inventory. Now on your smartphone, download the correct barcode scanner app compatible with your mobile device. Android users can install the Zing barcode scanner app for free in the Google Play Store. iPhone users can download the pick to shop free version or the pick to shop Pro paid version in the App Store. Launch your barcode scanner app on your mobile device and scan on the QR code from your desktop screen or enter in the link that appears next to your QR code on your Google Chrome or Safari browser. On your mobile device, press click here to scan. Scan a barcode with your mobile app and the barcode number of the scan will automatically be entered on the form. The form created requires that I enter in the item name and location. After completing the required fields on the form, press Submit Changes. My scanned barcode information is automatically entered on the NetKiller Barcode Scanner 2.0 Google Spreadsheet in my Google Drive. To check my scans and inventory information, I can click the Barcode Scanner tab and see the log of scans and view the entered data. If an item is rescanned, the information inputted from the previous scan is pulled from the Google Sheet. It will display on the mobile form and changes can be made for the item. The updated information is transferred back onto the Google Spreadsheet to reflect any data change. Scanning items via mobile can go both ways. If a barcode number is entered in on the Google Spreadsheet manually, once the item is scanned, the information can be pulled up from the spreadsheet. It is also possible to make an edit or bulk add new items in a sheet and use mobile to scan the codes. If you have any troubles or questions, submit a case to NetKiller Support at support.netkiller.com or send us an email at support at netkiller.com. Thank you and please enjoy.